I know what's this line for. Yeah, this line is like cutting off. At least it's like one fat thing, then this then blue colour thing is like cutting off. At how many meters? What blue colour thing? <laughs> it's cutting the mountain. The thing. I mean, 25 meters, 25 meters, then it cut. Then, then you make up. Up. on top. Yeah. Then a small amount of... Oh. So, it goes up. The more you click up. Okay. So do wow. we need to hear that again? Or no, you, I'm going to say very cheap, dude. You, <laughs> did you catch wow. what Timothy had heard? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh. So Timothy had that terrific insight about <coughs> about what was going on, which I... Okay, let me explain the problem. The problem was <coughs> me and Miss Tsai, and I'm sure Mrs. Cho, if she were present there as well, all took it for granted that you all knew what that blue thing was doing. Now, obviously, Timothy and possibly you, at first, didn't know what that blue thing was was representing. I don't know, oh, you know the bright blue thing? The one that you can just square it up and down. Ah. You are so obvious. Uh. Okay, okay, so for, no, for some, that's, no, that's the thing, you see. Yes. For some people, it's obvious. For the, for the geography teachers, it was obvious. But, but the, the thing is, if it's obvious to the geography teachers, we don't realise that it's not obvious to the, to the non-geographers, to the, not, to the non-experts. So this is precisely very, this is the key to good teaching. The key to good teaching is to, help, is to, is to understand how the non-expert is thinking and then try to help the non-expert uh, reach expert knowledge. Huh? But if we all didn't see a problem, Miss Hai didn't see a problem, I didn't see a problem, that means we have a blind spot, no? That means we didn't realise, oh, some of you really don't understand what this, what this thing is about. This is, this is why I say he hit the nail on the head, you see? Because it helped me realise that there's a, there's a problem here. So my, my, I think my first question to, to all of you, specifically directed to the two of you first, okay, is before you had that insight of of the blue thing cutting the mountain, as you said. Can you try to help me understand, honestly, what you thought was going on? <laughs> no, I, I, you know I'm saying this seriously, right? I'm saying this seriously because if, if I can understand what was going on in your head, then I can be a better geography teacher. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so what did you think was going on when you first saw the activity I thought I thought it's some some just some blue square. Yeah, it's just some blue square. You put the meters there. The okay. The buttons. Okay. Okay. Um, thanks, Tim. So, uh, but then you specifically talked about slicing the mountain. Uh huh. So, oh, so you thought it was a platform, lah? Yeah. Yeah. Can you try to think back and what? Can, just just keep talking. No, don't laugh. I need to know this because I want I want to know what's going on in the mind of I want to know how you made that that that, that bridge you see that, that leap to understanding. Just keep talking, I'll keep quiet for a while. Quiet. <laughs> I mind trying to be serious, this is quite important. Okay, uh, so just to remind, I'm going to say something which you don't, you all don't, I'm not saying this to, 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 to tease the two of them. Uh. So initially you all thought that, the, remember you had sketch A, sketch B and sketch C, right? Then you started drawing the land, the contour lines for the same landform, but <coughs> for, you notice you drew the, the five meter contour line here in, sketch, in the box called sketch A. And then you drew the 10 meter contour line here in the box called sketch B and so on and so forth, right? Then you realized something was wrong. You realized that you were supposed to actually draw the 10, met <coughs> 10 meter in the same box as the 5 meter, right? So, how did you understand, what did you think contour lines were bef before that? In other words, um, yeah, what did when Miss Tsai first talked about contour lines in class, <coughs> what did you think she was talking about? 
or how did you understand them? like the steepness and the and the gentleness of the slopes lah. Okay. According to the spaces between All right. the lines. So you're mainly using contour lines to the, the main in your head the main purpose of the contour lines was to enable you to uh tell this how steep, how gentle, depending on how on, on how closely spaced they were, right? Okay. So okay fine. Um um I guess I'll, I, I'll, I'll, I would like to cut, give you guys an opportunity to talk, but I think the main thing that was very, very interesting to me was that your part about saying that the blue thing is slicing the mountain. To me, that was a very big insight that you had, but I guess because you're not a... Mm -hmm. so Prior to that, you just saw it as a platform. Then you had the inside that it was slicing the mountain and it was going up and down. Hmm. Okay, let, let, me, let me ask a question a different way. Can you try to remember how come you suddenly had that insight? How come you suddenly realized... Because I saw it moving. Ah, okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, Tim. You saw it moving. Because yeah. at, at first we were just we were just standing on top and then slacking down there, just wait, yes. wait for it to change the arm. All right. See okay. So when you say you were standing on top, actually you were you were you you're yeah. referring to the camera yeah. viewing it from the top, right? Mm -hmm. Your avatar was not necessarily standing on the yeah. mountain, lah. Okay, fine. So then suddenly you saw it moving, and then you had the insight that it's actually doing something rather than just rather than just like five meters. Or whatever, right? Actually, one one F, you all had a slightly different experience because one E and one F, the diff the, the the experience that you had was um, after you after one F. Uh, remember one F, we we had um, after one F, we tried to make it a lot clearer for one E because what we did was we actually wrote in the corner, no? So at five meters, this would be so the 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 number five would be very big. You mean they didn't have yeah, that? Yeah, they didn't have that. You had to. You actually, had to at first we had, but then uh, we didn't have it at first. Then the second one that. Went again. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, I can't remember. I thought you had to minus something, right? But anyway, the whole, never mind. The whole class actually huh? understood what it was. Okay. What it's for. As far I as I think, Miss Tai explained. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's 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 open the floor to y'all. Okay. okay, let's just have a general discussion because I've, I've got what I wanted to hear. Thanks, Joy. Thanks, Dave. So, so please continue. Don't let me interrupt. Actually, for us, it was very easy to identify because because the, the the mountains weren't just like oh the same shape every time it went up and up and up. Yeah, it was of different shapes every time. Yeah, every time it, the, 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 the ah okay. So okay, so it wasn't like uh, that, that's a, that's a, yeah. I, I I think I know what you're saying. Are you saying that each time you had to draw the contour lines, even though we were looking at the same landform, the um. The, the shape wasn't just wasn't just getting wasn't just concentric right yeah it was yeah it was variable was, yeah. it was variable from height to height right and that was pretty uh, yeah that's what I thought was very powerful and then there was one where at the 25 meter height it was like just a thin oh, yeah, 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 that, yeah that one was really interesting I thought yeah okay but it didn't only change in size it also changed in shape somehow mm. yeah. yeah it was it was the changes not only in Shape, but in it, not not only in size, but the shape changes was 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 yeah, the key the, to helping that. Because the changes weren't so minute; they were very big, and you can see very very visible. So if, very very quickly, you are um be able to see. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you, um without putting words in your mouth, or I, I'm gonna say something, <coughs> but but I think it's not putting words in your mouth because I'm hearing it from several of you, if not from all of you. You 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 did find it a productive exercise, lah. It wasn't a waste of time for you. Is that, that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay.